Come on, Jesus. There we go. Make it happen. I wish that I was flying with them. Now you're not here. My name's Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today we're talking about wrist pins. Uh, wrist pins, also known as gudgeon pins, piston pins, and probably there's probably some other weird explanation for what they are. What is a wrist pin? What does it do? A wrist pin is uh, what goes in your small end of your con rod, so we went through the naming of con rods and stuff like that, connecting rods, your wrist pin gudgeon pin, piston pin, basically sits in here and it's what connects the piston to the actual um, connecting rod and it, it basically it also has to swivel, that's another thing that it is expected of it. Now there are certain ways to retain this pin and I'll go and through them, just the different types in a different video. Wrist pins are ground uh, hardened steel and generally they are, well nearly all the time, they are hollow, they are hollow for lightness because they don't really need to be um, super, super strong, they're strong enough as they are and you hollow them out to be light. The wrist pin basically transfers all of the force um, from your piston through to your um, connecting rod, so they are just as important as anything else. Um, they do wear out eventually, some um, wrist pins have feeds oil feeds that come from the con rods that basically go from the main cap all the way up and there'll be a little hole. This con, uh, con rod there has a little hole um, that's for outgassing and oil and so on so it gets a bit of oil flow in there. Um, you can get certain bushes that press into here so basically the wear wearable parts and all the rest of it. Um, they are precision ground, they are uh, very important that they have to be just the right kind of fit otherwise they will rattle and cause breaking and cracking of your rod and your piston. Um, so yeah, you know, we kind of just ignore wrist pins for what they are. Uh, the newer ones kind of thing, like high-tech Formula One and MotoGP and stuff, a lot of these wrist pins are actually, uh, they have coatings on, some ceramic coatings, DLCs, stuff like that, and basically to reduce wear and also basically to make the surface more impact resistant because at the end of the day that's kind of what it's taking it's taking quite a soft but it is taking an impact um, soft contact impact as in the way the actual two surfaces clash together but the pressures are really quite high especially in really high power engine applications it's a thing we kind of just always just expect and just yeah it's just there and all the rest of it but the, you know it's one of the most important components in an internal combustion engine Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.